What's up everybody, this is Schism and welcome to the 100,000 subscriber special. This is the seventh time I've done this because I keep screwing things up and I cut down a tree today with a chainsaw, so I'm a little crazy right now. I love you all. You all have done so much for me, but I need to be done with this. So let's hope this one works because I just keep doing dumb things. Today's about two things. Today's about me and today's about you. The thing about me is that I've been in two movies in my life. One was like a cool IMAX movie about drumming. And the other was a movie that my friend Eric made in college 10 years ago. So I look ridiculous. The movie's super funny. And I'm going to show that to you guys soon. It's about like emo music and emo kids and like I'm the emo kid. So very good stuff. He also has a YouTube channel, which is very not safe for kids, but very funny. So go check that out down below. Um, the other thing's gonna be about you guys. So you guys support me in so many amazing ways. You let me say, your support has allowed me to stay home with my son more. You know, I work part-time at my main job now and I do YouTube officially part-time. So it's been amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. So what I'm gonna be doing here is we're setting up a Patreon for the channel. Uh, Patreon's a way that lets you guys, you know, interact and have like an active role in the channel so you guys can support for like certain dollar amounts every month <clears throat> and then you get rewards and there are goals that go along with it and I have a lot of cool goals set up that if we reach them we'll get awesome things and we'll, we'll see and have more content and we'll have better things and it's just so cool and my brain is crazy right now and I can't think of the words that I want to say because it's so late and I have said this seven times so forgive me but I'm crazy right now um, <clears throat> the voice is going now too it's betraying me so guys you have done wonderful things for me and I want to give back to you with this movie. It's ridiculous and you'll see it pretty soon. I'm gonna write words underneath it so it's really even better, like behind the scenes stuff. Um, and giving you guys a way to get organized and if you want to uh, support with the Patreon and kick even more ass and maybe we'll cut down a tree on camera with you or the phone. Maybe we'll cut the phone in half with the chainsaw because I hate looking into the stupid phone at this point in my night. Wonderful. Thank you guys so much. This is the end of my rant. Video go now. I've been playing the guitar for a little while now. I wanted to learn how to play so I could join a band and spread my music and aspire. I really want to aspire to be a great musician when I get older. Is this uh, your first instrument? No, no, not really. I, I played the piano played the piano for about three years when I was a kid. Can you play us anything? No, not, not really. I would kind of just make cool sound effects for my He-Man toys when I would pretend they were fighting with each other. That's the sound it would make when Skeletor is about to do something cool. Hey, this is my room. Um, my roommate's not here right now. I don't know where he is. He must be out somewhere. But uh, here's his side of the room over here. Who's saw and vinegar chips. He stinks up the room something nasty with him. Uh, here's my side. It's kind of messy because I've been going through some tough times recently. Uh, my girlfriend, Sally, she just broke up with me. And it's just, it's not been going well. Here's my, uh, here's my laptop. Where... I, uh, let's see what's going on. I've got my live journal on it right now. Do I show, I can show you some of my poems in the live journal if you want. Uh, oh, that's, that's Chris's computer. He doesn't really let me on it too much. He, uh, what, what the fuck? Were you looking at my computer? So you, Chris, you filming this? Wait, hey, he wanted Steve, to look at the Steve, computer. You, I don't go around what? filming you your sh You get the hell out. Documentary, you I'm email. Personal, email. Get, 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 get out. You have to excuse my roommate Chris. He's a good guy, but he just gets really angry if you touch his computer. I just like to stay away sometimes. After Sally broke up with me, he just really wouldn't listen at all. He just kind of shut me out, or if I tried to talk to him about it, he got way too hostile. And he kept calling me things like a and just it was just 
really mean of him. Uh, I kind of wish he hadn't done it, but, you know, I can't control him. I can just control myself. Yo, Steve's a p What? I was trying to download Titanic. You know how long that takes? What? I mean, the kid uses word combinations that make no sense. I mean, the other day he turns around and says to me, Chris, my heartbeat is the theme song for disaster. What the hell does that mean? Jesus. Have you read the kid's poems? Ugh, oh, Christ. Just you and me, babes. Let's go live at the beach. We'll live off the freshest seafood and whatever berries we can reach. We'll rub tummies by the water, look up at the night sky. We don't need that pot no more to keep each other high. We'll find phases in the clouds. We'll try and count the stars. We'll laugh at those silly bastards rushing by in fancy cars. If we lose or if we win, no matter what, we're free. If we can build a little empire or end up camping by the <laughs> What does emo mean to you? Emo is... It's a state of mind. Is... Is, what? uh... Is that it? Give me a break. Emo is such bullshit. It's just something that emotionally unstable people made up to make themselves feel elite. It's because they get dumped a lot. Do you feel bad about the breakup? No. Why? We were only together for six days. It was love at first sight. Oh. It was only six days. But it felt like an... It felt like an eternity. <laughs> Sally? Uh, Steve says you haven't been helping him much since uh, he broke up with his girlfriend. Steve... Steve had a girlfriend? You, uh, you sound disappointed. Don't, what's that mean? No, no. Hey, I think I'd run through my daily routine with you guys real quick if you wouldn't mind. Usually what I do first is, I'm in bed. You just got my pillow right here. You know, come over here and usually I'll just, you know, update my live journal real quick. Then, I'll come over here to the phone. And I'll call Sally. Oh, wait, Sally. I like to think of my artwork as a, a medium, you know, for what I feel inside. And, you know, whether it's heartbreak or misery or depression, it's... It can really all be... You're a What? <laughs> Sally, no! We know you've got your... You've got your thugs and your... Metal heads and your dead heads and then there's there's us emo heads. Emo. It's just another state of mind. So what makes you think that you are emo? God made me that way. So you're religious? No, no. Religion is a lie. Well I believe in the emo god. Kronkor. Steve, how would you describe yourself? Myself. I'm like a sunken vessel that was never christened, and the tides are slowly burying me in the sands of remorse. Put yeah, I made him promise to uh, not play in the room anymore. Either that or tongue kiss me. <laughs> just, just a little, just a little joke. I mean, I wasn't. I was he always acted kind of like a wuss, even before I dumped him. Would you say he was always emo? He always had the emo in him. But uh, but what caused it? Kronkor. Steve, 
You seem to have attracted the attention of a lot of girls. How can you claim to be poor at getting girls? Will you? You see, it's the curse of the emo. Our tears have a special hormone that attracts girls. But when they start going out with us, they realize that... They realize that we're just... Oh, you don't feel good about having to dump him. He's not a bad kid. And he has that tear thing going for him, so he shouldn't have to worry about getting girls and stuff. He's just such a... I mean, he's a good guy and all, but sometimes he can just get a little annoying. I mean, he's a, he's a bit of a wuss. I mean, I, we have good conversations. He's good to talk to. And uh, he's good to stare at while he's sleeping. I'm sorry? He just needs to learn, learn to, you know, be a man. And uh, I swear by the might of Kronkor's sword, he'll make it. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm at a turning point in my life. I feel like I can really start over. It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. This is what it feels like when doves cry. And now I'm gonna jump back in here because what's happening now is they're playing a copywritten song, so we can't play that on the channel. But it, this song is called Screaming Infidelities by Dashboard Confessional. Now, Disclaimer, I actually like a couple Dashboard Confessional songs, but Screaming Infidelities is one of their most emo songs. So if you're wondering what emo music sounds like, that's what you want to go listen to. Um, so the rest of this is just me obviously not knowing how to play the guitar, and then the whole cast kind of comes in and joins me and sings the song. So go play the song, and you might be able to sync the lips up, but that's a stupid task that would take you forever, so you shouldn't do that. But then look, 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 roommate comes out. Oh, and he's there. He's there, and we get together, and I'm pretty sure I just need him in the crotch, or elbowed him in the crotch, rather. And then watch out. Oh, another guy was in bed with him the whole time. He wasn't in the actual movie. Uh, and then, do we have one more surprise? Look at, look at how bad I fake play the guitar. Okay, give it a second. Give it a second. Oh, they're so lovey on each other. Oh, oh, and there he is, out of the closet. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So this was the movie, and that's the end of that. If you have any questions about it, I will answer them for you, because I don't know what else to say. That's it. All right, guys. Um... Maybe someday you'll see the other movie I'm in. It's much less funny, but it is something. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later.